Um, him and the guys. What's the typical how, what is practice? That how intense it is? Kind of just what's a day in the life of being at a Maryland leader? Just because he's so humble. Uh, so like, I think it's like really different from other programs because no coach is really player, big on like uh, player uh, development. Uh, team, so at the beginning of practice, you know, we'll do like our two ball handling. We'll do stations. You know, just like working on our game to try to progress every single day. Which is something different that a lot of coaches don't do. We'll do that for like the first probably like half an hour, and then we'll do like defensive drills for like another half hour, and then we'll go live and we play a lot. Five on five, so open and which makes the game, the game uh, a lot more comfortable and, and slows like, down. I'm able to make uh, mistakes because we play five on five for a long time, so. like an hour, so, maybe more. So, I think, so I think that really helps us. And when you look at uh, how the competition is, is on this level, how much did the Italy trip kind of help you transition onto the college game? Um, I feel like I was already confident because that's just I mean, how yeah, I am. Definitely a big setup but for me, just telling, as far as the team, it helped me like a build like chemistry like, with certain guys that had never played with his players. Uh, be so I think that was like the biggest thing for me, like which is you know playing with like these, like this group of guys and Coach Miller's system and just being comfortable with it in live games against somebody other than each other. And you went to IMG. You have a great high school background. Played on both EYBL and 3SSB. That, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. Um, how did that prepare you or how did that ease you come into this environment? Uh, so when I was on UIBL, like I was like a bench guy, I came off. Um, like really just like spot up shooter, play I mean, defense and stuff like that. Like and and so like stuff like that, the playing the UIB will help me learn my role so that when I came uh, into the 3 SSB like and I was able to you know take more shots, I was still having the mindset that I had to be hungry and had to defend and had to make winning plays as long as being a scorer. So it helped me form roles to whatever it does to help the team win. More like just people believe in you. What's your trip you guys used before you went to Italy? Did you learn any Italian on the on the way? Like, no, I did. We had like a tour guide. So, yeah. I mean, you're not supposed to. Yeah. But uh, what uh, do you feel you gained having, you know, from having been on that trip, having been with this team for those games? Yeah, uh, uh, what do you feel you gained the most from the Italian trip? It's helping you be on the right spot to start the season. Oh, I definitely just team chemistry, getting to know the guys a lot better. I mean, when we were here in the summer, we can only like do so much before everyone, you know, goes into their, goes and does whatever they do for the rest of the day. But when we were really with each other together, going everywhere in Italy, we were pretty much we have to be with each other, and we really got to you know enjoy the experience together like, as a family. Jamir, Dante, Julian, what kind of leaders? Yeah, I mean, if you came to practice, you see me and Julian. They're very good. Uh, leaders because uh, they're not going to try to like punk you or try to like be you. They're going to try to like get at the same level as you and you know just talk to you about like what do you see and like this is what I see. you did this but maybe it would be better if you did this. So they're just like trying to get on the same level as us. So because they know that they need us to help us win. Having been around the program for a little bit now, what can you hope to bring to this team to this new place this season? Definitely just like intensity because I feel like that's what I bring a lot. Uh, Coach Willard's. Uh, style of play, I feel like that will help a lot, especially the way we play defense, and, you know, just intensity, you know, making shots. Thanks again, Jamie. Stay healthy, man. Hey, Jamie, as a former football player, how do you kind of use those skills that you got from playing football and have that translate onto the court while you're playing? Um, I feel like it's mostly like a mindset, like things like giving up your body. You know, uh, to you know, crush the boards uh, or down on the floor. Wrecks, I feel like so the mindset like, right, is the biggest part, you know, in football. And and your mindset's like, got to be like, I'm going to do whatever it takes so, for my team to win. I'm going to sacrifice my body. I'm going to play time I'm exhausted and stuff like that. So I think that's the biggest thing that translates from football to basketball. For someone who wouldn't be familiar with your game, how would you kind of describe your your style of play? I would say, like, really intense and I like to get after it, but I don't really show too much emotion. I'm really like stone cold as far as emotion go but I really do like to get after it you know just like make winning plays like down on the floor and then offensively I make shots and I just try to uh, you know get to my spots and even coach Willard like space the floor off my other teammates thank you